Okay, so this is my 1977 Holiday Rambler Free Spirit. Um, so outside you have an outlet if you want to hook up some lights. There's also a little light out here. Um, this is the screen door. This thing slides back and forth so that you can shut it with the, um, the handle there. But I'll show you the inside. There's um, curtains on all the windows. I just have them tied up right now. So you can kind of see, you can cover up all the windows. The upholstery was redone. And um, this table in the front here actually folds down and you can pull the cushions out. So this makes a bed right here. Um, up here, this actually folds down into a little loft and you can put like a small child up there or you can just use it for storage if you want to put things in there. There. Um, you have the refrigerator over here, little latch closure. So this is the fridge and then there's a little freezer space up at the top. Um, storage up here for food. Down on the bottom here is, that's the uh, heater and the furnace and the hot water heater down there. Um, back behind this couch there's actually some more storage in there needs to be refinished a little bit. Now the important thing that I wanted to point out was there's a little bit of water damage in the front right here that I started to rip out um, but didn't quite finish it and then up in the front corner over here too behind this cushion you can see it's a little bit wavy there. So that might need to be replaced. Um, air conditioning unit up here on the ceiling. Last time I tried it that worked pretty well. Um, and then over here is the bathroom, which is a really nice feature considering how small this trailer is. Um, here's your toilet. It's a flush toilet. You have some nice storage back there. And your sink with some storage underneath it, which is nice. Um, and the really good thing that you don't get in many trailers this size is there's an actual stand-up shower. Got your shower head over there. And then in the corner here you have your shampoo and soap dispensers. You have a skylight in here with a nice fan. And then I'll come out and show you the kitchen. So another good feature, a lot of times with smaller trailers you only have a two burner stove. You have a four burner stove here and a full working oven. And then lots of storage for your kitchen. Lots of drawers and storage right underneath there. You have a microwave up here with the hood to uh, ventilate. Lots of storage up here for your food. Um, double sink, which is great because a lot of the smaller trailers you'll only get the single sink there. Lots of storage under here for plates and dishes. The other thing that I really liked about this trailer was the double closets. Most of them you only get a single closet. So you have a lot of space to put clothes considering the size. And another one on this side. So one of the things that I was working on is refinishing the insides of the cabinets. And you can see this one I didn't quite finish painting. But uh, that was sort of in progress. And back here, you have the same sort of thing with the loft. This will fold down to make a little loft for like a child. And um, if you don't want to do that, you can just use it as storage, which is really great. And then this is the main bed. So this couch actually folds out, and I can show you how to do that. So there's some legs on the bottom. So that's the full size of the bed. So it's a pretty good size once it's all folded out. Okay, um, there's a little switch over here. That's your water pump. When um, when you're using the water storage that's under here, actually I should have that wood all the way back, but this is a 100 gallon water tank if you wanna do storage. And then that right back there is your water pump. So if you weren't hooked up to water at a campsite, you'd be able to use that water pump to access the water in here. And it's nice that you have windows all the way around here, makes for some nice ventilation. And you have lights up underneath there, and then another skylight right up on the ceiling here. 
All right, oh, and then I'll show you down on this side is your breaker panel for all your electric. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so I'll show you around the outside of the camper. Um, this is the awning that was new, I'll say about two and a half years ago. The vinyl was put on new. Um, you have a little step there on the bottom to get into the camper. This um, hook right out here, there's actually two little metal attachments and there's a trash can that can sit on here so that when you're outside you can throw your trash out or if you don't want to keep your trash inside the camper, it's a nice little feature. Um, and then we'll come around to the front and you can see the nice thing is it's a dual propane tank. A lot of the smaller campers, you only get a single propane tank. This one, I believe, is full, and this one might be about a third of the way full. There's the electric jack right here to raise and lower it. Um, I believe it's a, a two-inch ball, it's whatever the standard hitch is for a regular trailer. And then right behind that, you have the battery. Um, one of the things that actually needs to be fixed are these little lines right here. They were just, um, the seal wasn't quite right, so it was leaking a little bit before I closed it for the season, but I was just waiting until the spring to replace them. So that'll be a quick fix. You just have to unscrew them and replace that wire, or that um, tube. Um, right in the front, you have some bubble levels right there and right there. So when you're setting it up, you can use that. And it just has a crank jack that goes in each of the four corners to level it out. Um, come around the side here, open this up. That is for the hot water heater. And that's how you empty it at the end of the season when you want to winterize it. Um, this, I believe, is for the heater. Right there you have access to the back of the heater and the back of the refrigerator. And right below that, I believe, is 
access to the furnace, which you actually have to unscrew if you want to open that up. Now, yeah, at the bottom, this is your black water tank right here. That's how you hook up to empty, up, empty out your black water. Um, you can get a look at the tires there. I'm not exactly sure how old the tires are, but they look pretty good. And then when you come into the back here, this is your electric hookup. I have that plugged in right now. And um, this is actually the access to that 100 gallon <coughs> tank that's in there. That's how you fill up your water reserve. And your gray, let me see where's, oh, the gray water comes out the same. You mm -hmm. just gotta open up the other valve. And then when you come around the back, you have the, um, this is the setup for like a little bike rack that you can pop onto there. They used to have bikes on there. And then this one back here is actually where you hook up your water. You would open this up and then you can get access to your water pump and plug into like a hose or something there. So I think that's pretty much it for the outside.